In this video, I will be providing you with another method that can be used to calculate the rafters and the design for a gambrel roof. Now, this particular roof right here is from a video I made over a year ago, and I will put a link at the top here if you want to check that one out to um, see if that will work for you. This one here is quite simple. It's uh, not too difficult, but I did find one in a book, an older book that I have, and thought it would be interesting. Actually, someone commented on um, the gamble roof, and I said, hey, did you ever see the um, uh, circle method, how the, how the roof fits in a circle? And I think they misunderstood what I said. So um, I think this one's for you, Jerry. You know, you know who you are. And uh, I will try and put a link if I don't hear from you, if you don't respond to this video. And I'll try and put a link um, where your comment was to explain what I was trying to explain, but obviously wasn't using the right word. So here's this design here. And all we need to do to make it fit into the circle is just a little more manipulation. So here you can see, and again, this is one design here. The rafters are the same sizes, so this rafter here would be the same size as this one here. This one here would be the same size as this one. You can see that they are different though. And in this video here, I want to kind of give you an idea how you can make the rafters equal sizes. And I think that's the key to the gambrel roof, is uh, making it making the rafters the same size. But again, you don't have to follow that. I'm not build your roof how you want to and get the design that you want to. So here we have the ceiling. We drew a circle. We're going to run a line down the middle and then put a 45 degree angle in here. And this is going to give us our rafter sizes. And the rafters are actually the same length with this method right here. Not too difficult to um, figure out 45 degree angle, go all the way around. We do have different lengths here, but again, we're building it with the circular design here. Remove some of that stuff and there's our roof. Now, if you're just interested in the design, go ahead and stop the video right here. I am going to provide you with what I think is a simple way to figure out the sizes if you don't have any computer um, software. If you have software like this, you can figure out the sizes. You are going to be in good shape. So we're going to start with the concrete foundation. And we are going to just simply draw out the design for the structure on the foundation. And uh, this is actually something you can use with different roofs. If you're having a problem figuring out a roof length, this is a pretty good way to do it before you frame any of the walls now you can snap out your lines for all of your walls now what i would recommend if you are going to do something like this is to use different color chalk if you use red chalk for your wall framing for your layout then use blue chalk for your roof now if you're going to have the finished floor if the finished floor is going to be um, concrete, you might not want to do this. You might not want to mess up your floor. So keep that in mind. You might have to go back to using some other forms of math to um, figure it out. So I'm just kind of throwing out an easy way. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, find another method or leave a comment in the comment area. And I'll see if I can figure something else out. So I started with this to give you an idea what it looks like. And we are going to start with a line going right down the middle and a line that would represent our ceiling height or the top of the wall framing. And then we will put a little box in here. To figure out a 45 degree angle, this isn't that difficult. You don't need to get a compass. You don't need to um, you know, use any math to figure this out. Just simply draw a square. And here I drew a four foot by four foot square. And then I drew a line down the center of it. This is a 45 degree angle. Now, you can always draw a larger box to get a more accurate um, 
a more accurate angle. You know, sometimes we come in here and we snap it and we're off just a little bit. But you're going to know that you're off a little bit when you go to measure your rafters. If you have one rafter that is 10 foot 1 inches and another rafter that is 10 foot 2 inches, you know you have a problem. You're going to need to um, do some modifications here. So we're going to extend the line through so that we have a nice 45 degree angle. Then we're going to draw our half circle. The center point is going to be right here. Then we will draw our lines for our roof rafters. And that really doesn't get any easier than this. And uh, you want to draw an attic in here. You want to have your uh, figure out where your walls are going to go on the inside. If you're going to have any beams, this is going to be perfect. You can just simply measure from here to here, whatever distances you need for your walls. A lot of times we come in and we figure something out on paper and we have all the numbers. And then when we go into the field and start snapping the lines, we, we, know we might be off a half inch um, or an inch, something like that, or something that you missed when you were designing it. So this is a good way to double check all of your measurements also. So, and, and I want to point out that this is actually a square. This right here will be equal sides on this. Now, if you need help figuring the roof rafter lengths, I will provide you with a link here for the Pythagorean Theorem. And you can always go, go to the website and check out the construction math section. And that has a lot more um, detailed information for different formulas you can use to figure out a variety of different things for building.